Good morning. I want to talk for a minute about the role of divinity. When you say to yourself, I, 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 want, I want to believe in something, I want to believe in God, I want to, I want to know God, and you open your heart to that, that figure that we call divine. And then it's so interesting that you and I probably have a whole long history of images that have come into our head about what divinity is like, who is this God. And the most dangerous thing we've all encountered in our, our upbringing is that God is the one who looks at what you do and he rewards and punishes. That's it. A rewarder and a punisher. And he loves you when you do right, and he doesn't love you when you do wrong. And nothing is further from the truth, because if you listen to the scriptures and you understand the revelation that this God-man Jesus gave us, he's not a God that's interested in judgment. He's a God that's interested in awakening you, enlightening you, showing you what you haven't seen yet. And when you see what he reveals to you, what you're going to see is a God who isn't there to judge, but a God who's there to empower. To empower you. To do what? To be perfect? No. To deal with your sin? Yes. To deal with it, understanding you're forgiven when you fail. But more importantly, what he's trying to say to you is, my presence in you is a gift that if you pay attention to me and listen to me, I'll reveal to you exactly who you are meant to be. Who you're meant to be. And when you're living out of that authentic awareness of who you are, you're going to find an amazing peace. So the idea of shifting from a God who judges to a God who empowers is absolutely crucial if you want intimacy with God, because you're not going to give yourself over to a judge, but you will give yourself over to a lover. And that's exactly who he is. And when he sees you becoming who he created you to be, he smiles and he thinks they got it. They have me and they've got what I promise.